<laughs> Just watching a bit of pro climbing. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's what proper climbers can do. It's the international bouldering competition. All right, we'll get back to that later. Because uh, really I'm supposed to be, not supposed to be, really I'm looking at Scotch Whiskey Auctions, which has an incredible 10,000 bottles in the auction, which is closing in around 10 hours or something like that. And um, I bookmarked a ton. I've got about 100, well, I have 116 in my watch list. And it seems possible that prices are a bit lower <laughs> because of the, the number. Um, when we look at the prices, a 50 pound bottle actually ends up at something like one, uh, $95 by the time you paid for shipping. That's like a 1.9 exchange rate. A hundred dollar would be 168 because the shipping is proportionately less. That would be 1.7 exchange rate. And if you go to 200 pounds or 315 dollars, you're getting closer to the 1.6. Uh, I'll leave that up. You can have a look at it as we go. Um, so I thought I'd check in on the prices now and then we'll have another look in the morning. So Dark Cove committee release will definitely not stay at $100. But let's see what it does get to. The Dark Cove regular, there's one here currently at 70 but I would expect that to be, uh, well, 100 maybe? Here's a $300 Bal Blair, 1983. Sorry, 300 pounds. That makes it, what would that be? That is super expensive. You can buy that in the US still at the moment if you're, if you, if you're quick. I think the 1990 is gone, so I'm curious to see where that price ends up. Um, a lot of independent bottles, which sometimes suggest bargains. Oh yeah, here's another one, uh, the Brooklady Black Art 4.1. A lot of the, I mean, I was just amazed how many are in the auction, 13 or something. Normally I see three or four, but um, still quite a few of them, well under a hundred pounds. I would expect these to be selling at 200, 210. So possibly you could get a cheap black art. Monia Oloroso normally goes for about uh, 130 to 150. I'm curious about this Campbelltown. Uh, it's a Campbelltown blend, which I'd never heard of before. It's part Springbank, part Long Row. So there's 30 year Springbank and Long Row in there. And about 60% of it is grain whiskey. And I can't remember where it's from. Girvan, maybe? Anyway, all 30 year old. Uh, it's already pretty expensive though. Um, Kleinlish independent bottles. Oh, this Craig Elishy is <laughs> super cheap at the moment. 22 year, 40 pounds. Where's that going to end up? Is it going to end up in our blind tasting? That's the big question. Oh, this Highland Park is the one that Ralphie was talking about uh, recently. Told a good story of running out of the shop and sneaking around the back for a quick sip out of the bottle just to see how good it was. <laughs> But that has been selling for something like £400, so I'm sure that's going to rocket up tomorrow. Lefroy 15, still as cheap as 50 or 80 for the 18. Oh, there's a 60, 60 pound 18 year. Um, but they will shoot up tomorrow. But there's a lot of them, and maybe just the, the amount. Look, there's even six. Longmore and 16s in. And they can sell for 85, 95. Don't think they've been over 100 yet, but currently they're all 50 or lower. Could be a chance to get a good price on one of those. And I've been curious about that Vega 40, 41 year old blend also. That should be up over 200. Hmm. So. Okay, I don't really need any more bottles except for the fact I've already got four in storage and it's much cheaper if you send ten <laughs> in one box. So 
you know, I need to get some more to save money on shipping. That's the reason. What will they be? Find out in the morning. I'm going to do some bidding. Where's my bidding list? There it is. Okay, it's the morning. Let's see where we are. It is, um, we're about, we're a few minutes away from the auction starting to close, but it takes several hours, which is good. I like the, uh, the no, no rush finish. Okay, 65, that was 50, I think. Dark coves, there we go, all up quite a bit. The Bal Blair's still at 300. The 1990s have gone up a little bit. Oh yeah, 140. Don't really remember these too much. Oh wait, that was 110, now it's 170. So let's see what the black arts are. Are they over 200 yet? No! 120, 110, 150. 150, 160, 120, 120. Wow, there's some. Those are some cheap black arts. Sorry, black art. The Moigno Oloroso, also low. The Campbelltown is still at 100. Hmm. This Highland Park is <laughs> still relatively low. Still lots of Lefroigs under 100. Well under 100, I mean. Even the 18. Lefroig. Oh, what are the Longmorns? Longmorn 16, still at 50. 65, fine. And 180. Wow, well, the prices are still what I would consider low. Longmorns. Wow. Worth a go, right? Let's say 65. Okay, there's a bid in. Oh, it's actually pretty warm down here today. My bids. Oh yeah. The Anok, that one has gone. Fine. So anything I bid on, I take off my watch list. Just so I know it's gone. Right, going back up. Let's see. Where's my wish list? That Lefroy, that's too expensive. An 18-year-old for 120. Nope. 15 for 80. Nope. Caden heads. 150, no. 130, no. 120, no. 130, no. <laughs> 110, no. 130, 130, 150. 160, 160. Okay, lots to eliminate here. Oh wait, there's an eighty dollar, eighty pounds for an eighteen. Well, I'm prepared to go to a hundred. So let me leave those up for a little while. There are a lot of those. The Highland Park. I'm not. I'm not bidding on it. I'm just curious to see how high that goes. The Ralphie, the Ralphie one. I do want a Dalmore. An un screwed up Dalmore, but I don't want one that's that expensive. I just want to try a Dalmore which hasn't been filtered and messed with. Wow, why are the Brooklades so cheap? One fit. Anything under 200 is good. Right, let's pick one. What the hell? Let's see, 180 would be 285, whatever. Let's go for it. Might get lucky. 
black heart and a long morn. So far. Independent bottlers. A bit more fun. I'm going to go 75 on the is it Ben Rinnis? Ben Rins. Ben Rinnis, surely. Alright, 21 year old. Let's go. Let's have a quick look. Cask strength. Cask strength. Or cask strength. Close enough, at least. These are all over 50. Let's give the signatory a go. Do we go to 100? Sixteen year born my wife. Right, ninety-five. Ah, hundred. Go. <laughs> okay, we are now uh let's see, one hour into auction closing territory. Quick review, let's see where we are. Bal Blair's still at three hundred. Still got some Bomores in here. Let's have a look at the black art. Current bids are 140 to 170. That is cheap, relatively speaking. The Moina Oloroso also holding at 110, 100, 120, okay, creeping up. Uh, the Ralphie Highland Park is up to 260 and 280. <laughs> the Lafroigs are staying cheap though. For the 15, still in the 50 60 range, and the 18s are still well under 100. And the Longmorns, 60, 55, 55. And, um, well, I have got a bit carried away just putting stuff on because it's cheap. Cheap, I think so. Let's see. I've <laughs> currently got three black art winning at a £140 range, which I know there's people in the US that would want them. So, worst case, if I get them all, they, those will be. Uh, Offered to others here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I've currently got ten things that I'm winning, which doesn't solve the shipping issue at all. So uh, I should buy more. <laughs> Madness. It's gone mad. All right. 20. It's a two hundred dollar bottle. No. Yes. Wow. That is currently winning. Black art has one at one forty. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of very interesting independent bottles as well. Let's see. A 26 year old Bunnehaven. For £80. Let's see what happens. Okay. Not the current winning bid. 90, that would be about $150. Sure. Oh, 
Now I am the current winning bid. Alright, what's the next one? A 15 year old 50 ABV Lefroig. No. A 21 year old Glendronic. Which is only hogshead. I mean, uh, bourbon. No sherry. Glendronic. Pretty unusual. 20 year old Bal Blair Sherry 50 ABV <laughs> oh. Okay. A twenty five year linkwood. Hang on, we've been outbid on something. Let's see. What was it? Uh, oh, I've been outbid on a on a black art as well. Let's see. This should update in a second. So this one fifty, that black art's gone. That black art's gone. Just check we're up to date here. I've still got a black art at 150 and 140. Oh, and another one here, <laughs> 150. One of the long morns is gone, fine. Right, this is where it starts to get confusing. 26 year of Brook Laddie. Cask strength almost. Wow. 20 year Macallan. How much are we going for? 120? Another Brook Laddie. 28 year Glen Farkless, bourbon only. Pretty cheap for the Octomore. Why is that still so cheap? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. We're an hour and a half into shutdown now and uh, getting outbid on all of the black art. No, hang on. Still got one at 170. Current winning bid. We push a bit harder because that is still cheap. Let's go. 170, 160, 160. Okay. 180 being the highest. Oh, yeah, look. The Moigna Olorosos are now going up 130, 130, 140. Still holding there. Right, still rolling. <laughs> so what do I currently still have? Ben Rinus, but more two black art, one Moigna Oloroso, a Kleinlish, a Craig Elishy, Dalmore. Still got a Lefroy 18 and one one Longmorn, all right.
Oh, look. Highland Park's got to 300. What are the long morns up to? 70, 65. Fine. Prices are starting to get there. <laughs> but still a bit cheaper. Let's see. Okay, it's now one o'clock, so I think we're two hours. Two hours past closing down time. What about this 30 year? Let's see what it's going for. Okay, we're. I think we are. Are we closed? Hang on. Winning bid. Wait. Hey, I won it. <laughs> Wait, that means I think we are. I think the auction is done. I have bid on so many things. I think this has just got ridiculous. Right. Hang on. Let's. Uh, Let's close a whole bunch of tabs here. Oh wait, no, hang on. See, it said it'd just been outbid. Well, how have I been outbid if it's closed? That's weird. Apparently I got outbid on a Longmorn. Wait a minute. Um... How am I getting out bid if it's closed? So if I go here, well, that's weird. It's like I've been outbid after I couldn't bid anymore. Maybe just got. Someone just got the last bid in, maybe? Because I think everything at this point is shut down. Winning bid, winning bid. All right. Okay. Got unlucky on something there, I guess, just in the timing. But what have I actually bought? <laughs> Okay. Didn't get the Anok. Didn't get the Bal Blair. Ben Rinus. Bowmore. Good grief. I got two black art. Um, so the black art went for 170, 180, 170. Wow, someone got one for 160. Well done. Uh, I got a Monia <laughs> Oloroso, a Kleinlish, Craig Elishy. Missed out on the Dalmores. I bought three Lefroy. You know, I looked at this price of the 18, thought, that's just cheap. I'm just going to buy a second one because someone will want it even if I don't. And unfortunately missed out on a, another long morn. But there you go. So this is what I got. Ben Rennes, 21 year old from Old Malt Cask. It's 50% ABV and it was £80, meaning it's going to cost about $140. Hmm. I wanted a Bowmore, which was not from Bowmore. So this is a 53 ABV. I know this is a 15 or 16 year old. And it's just a bourbon cask finish but more. And that was 75 to about 130 for that. Maybe a bit pricey, but black art. That's the equivalent. That's going to be about 270. No, it's going to be a bit more than that, more like 300, I guess, by the time it gets here. But So 170 for this one, 180 for that one. I think I know some people who want some of these when they arrive. I think that's a okay price. Oh, it's $200. <laughs> that's a lot. Oops. 
Kleinlich, a 19 year old Kleinlich for 70. 46 ABV. Krigelishy. That's a 50 ABV as well for 80. And then a handful of Lefroigs at decent prices, I think. Ooh, well, that was exciting. So, what did we? Um, what did things go for that we were looking at? I've taken a lot off the list because I was trying to organise. But um, Bal Blair did stay at three hundred. Black Arts all sold. These are definitely cheaper. These were selling for 210 or more, I think, last time. Let's have a look. Brook Gladdy Black Art 4.1. Because you can go and search and see what the previous auctions were. Um, most recent. Go, oh, no, we need this, don't I? So the highest one went for 190 today. Let's see what the last auction was, because I'm sure they were in the 200s last time. That load up. 70. Yeah, look. 210, 210, 200, 220, 230. So this month there's been a 40, 50 pound drop. Let's see what this Bal Blair 1990s went for. Pricey. 150, 150. Yeah. What else was in my list? So the other Moña Olorosos went for 140. Still, that is a better price. You know, I was just about to bid 110 on that as the auction closed. Kleinlish uh, is still. Pretty decent prices. Like this Highland Park, let's just look at this for a minute. This is the one that Ralphie uh, told his story about, said it was just an amazing cask. If we search for this one in particular, so one went for 260, one went for 320, but we look at previous auctions. For that previous auctions by most recent all right so today was 263.20 oh no I was wrong failed to meet reserve no fine for some reason I thought they were up in the oh no it is look here is a 400 back here that's actually older when was that Oh yeah, that's quite a long time back. Hmm, okay, fair enough. Price is about what it should have been. 15 year old Lefroigs. What did I get one for? 60 pounds. And for the 18, I think I paid 85 for those two. 85, 85. And I previously thought up to 100 would have been worth it. So the 18s, I think I got more or less the best price that I could have got there. Yeah. Did anyone go cheaper? <laughs> 85. No. And the long morns went for 70. Fair enough. I did just miss out. Someone just got me right at the end.
interesting auction. Now, got to get a shipping quote. <laughs> See what it's going to take to get all this stuff over here. Now I've got to go and ride up the hill to do some exercise. All right. Let me know if you need some. I could do you a good deal. <laughs>